Hello everyone, welcome to episode 13 of Hell's Bells. I'm your dungeon master, Maz, I you say them. Just to remind you that we have pre-recorded this episode due to our scheduling difficulties. So you guys don't miss out! Um... I don't know where to start. I'm confused. What was that? Ah. I don't think I have anything to say this week before we start of get going and do our intro stuff. No. Anyway, um, so I'm here to take this little tiefling party on a trip around the plains. However, tieflings are not all the created the same anymore. And this is why I'm confused, because I'm not holding up Morden Kynans this time. You gotta mime it. No, no. TK woman. is holding up the special limited edition Morden Kynans with everybody's signatures in. That's why I was getting confused, because I'm like, oh, no, can't say it yet, because I'll say it when I say that. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> so I think it's just oh. Chloe's just got to sign that and then that's signed yep. by everybody. And at the yep. back, show the back, show the back. JK. Oh, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me some of the signatures in there because I didn't see who signed it. Let's take a look. We have got Richard Winters. Hey. Oops, let me get on camera. And we have got Adam Lee. And we have got Jeremy Crawford. And we have got Chris Perkins. And we, uh, I'm trying to look and see who else is in here. Because these, look, we're all artists. We're not great with our penmanship. So, um, it's okay, yeah, TK. Mega, Mega can't read either. It's fine. <laughs> look, these are really look at the. They're really loopy. <laughs> I think I spotted Mike Merle's in there. I guess he's kind of important. Oh, where? No, you didn't. Where what? is it? Is that Mike Merle's? This so, one? If, no, this go up. This one. Up, one over to this the one? left. I'm pretty I, sure that's Mike Merle's. I found it. You're <laughs> nice. doing amazing, sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's all. So, yeah, on our last episode, we're going to tell you how you can win that. And there's going to be some extra special surprise prizes to go with that we'll show you maybe next week. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> it's exciting. It's really exciting. Anyway, anyway, let's go around, meet everyone, see who they are, what pronouns they use, who they're playing, and what Mordenkainen's variant they're using, if they're using one of those, or if they're just being standard tieflings. Uh, let's start with you anyway, TK, since you're in my top box there. It's me, it's TK. And um, I'm playing Gil, uh, Zariel tiefling paladin. Um... He's a good boy. He's having a hard time being a mercy killer, doing justice, saving halflings, even though he inherently doesn't trust them because they're kind of gross. Uh, my pronouns are they, them. Kayla, hey! Hello, my name is Kayla, and I am playing Pentar Circle of Spores Druid, which is currently in Unearthed Arcana, and I'm playing... Uh, a Zugmoy Ancestry Tiefling, which is a modification of some of the ones in Mordenkainen's. My pronouns are she, her. Oh, did you know Circle of Spores is going to be in the Ravnica book? Yes. Ooh, get that. Exciting. If you're enjoying, enjoying all the mushroom fun, that's a book to yeah. be getting when it comes out later this year. Um, Chloe, hi. Hi, I'm Chloe. Um, I am playing Lyra, a Oath of the Ancients Paladin, standard tiefling. Um, yeah, and so far so good. She hasn't cried a lot, so that's good. Still kind of uh, feeling it from the last battle, but she's doing well hanging in there. <laughs> Lisa, hey. Hi, I'm Lisa Chen, and I play Mercy, who is a shadow sorceress tiefling and also a changeling who is swapped with a human baby. Um, at birth. Um, so she doesn't know her ancestry, so I am just standard tiefling. Also, my pronouns are she, her. I forget if I said that already. We can say it again if you like, if you want to just, just to be sure. She, her. And Hadil, hi! Hi, I'm Hadil, she, her. I play um, Miga, who is a Triton Ancestry Tiefling, who is a rogue of the swashbuckler variety. I'm 10 and I can't read. Um, sorry I wasn't on the last episode. I was maybe busy going to medical school 
for the first like six hours of the day so I could be ready to be on <laughs> dice camera action. I had to know everything about the human mind um, in six hours. So I just popped down to the grocery store and got a medical degree out of a gumball machine. That should be fine. That VOD should be up now. So um, sorry, I was, as if you watch dice camera action, you know, there's a lot of feelings. So I had to be prepared. The end. The end. Um, okay, so. Let's get going. The multiverse. It's an infinite place. All manner of planes and demiplanes exist in a cosmology known as the Great Wheel. Our tale is woven in the Outer Planes, a circle of 16 named planes which arc around a central hub known as the Outlands. In the centre of this hub is an impossibly tall spire, above which floats the donut-shaped city of Sigil. Our party have recently returned from the prison plane of Carcerai, where they had to uh, do battle with air elementals in a balloon made of skin and rescued a halfling from a strange city built on upside down hanging giant bodies and Pentar had a great time and now has a larval puppy <laughs> <laughs> which is gross love him so, I will never give him up yeah you've all just got back in the house Mercy found um, a note on the door um, Miga is sitting in the house waiting for you when you arrive as well. Uh, just to set the scene here, um, the house has been completely destroyed. Sorry about it. Um, I've pulled out, like, every blanket that we have. Um, I have used several of the zombies from the basement to help me erect a pillow fort that takes up the entire main room. Uh, chairs are overturned. Several plates are mysteriously broken. There are several trails of uh, confetti. I still have plenty. I have dumped out my bag of holding and have just started putting stuff things. Don't worry, there's plenty of stuff still in it. Um, I may or may not have had several emergencies while you were gone, and there are now, like, charred marks <laughs> on the floors and the ceiling. Um <laughs> Yep, and I'm just having a great old time. I'm pretending to read a book. I just still don't know how to read, but that's okay. I've seen Mercy read, and I know she really wants me to learn to read, so I'm going to impress her by reading a cookbook upside down. So. Oh, I'm, like, really upset, but also that's so sweet. Yes. Oh. I am going to school, even though um, I'm, at, I'm at school by reading this book. So, yes. Mercy has walked in and she just drops the note from her mage hand and is just looking all over at everything that has happened. And then at Miga, but she has the book and I just, I'm stunned into silence <laughs> and just standing in the doorway. Yes, and I, I do want to, like, in this fort, like, one of the blankets is just, like, clipped on top of, like, with, like, one of those big hair clips that I've seen is just like clipped on top of one of the zombies who's just standing there. Um, he's part of the fort, decided. Oh. <laughs> yes. He's, I think that might be like my teacher one that has yeah. like all of the artwork. Yeah. <laughs> Professor Z. Yeah, Professor Z is the, he's really the cornerstone of this fort. Uh, the minute he is directed to walk out, it will just all collapse into a nightmare of a mess. It will take days to clean up. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just in the doorway blocking it, feeling a lot of emotions. Oh. I just imagine well, like Lyra like pushing past me, like, what's wrong? Oh, oh. And she'll like go up to me and she's like, did you make a, a pillow for it? And she's like really yes. excited about this pillow. I'm, a, I'm an architect now. I've just, <laughs> just like, look at my grand design. <laughs> P Pintar like is like, and enters with her maggot child, which is human sized, so it's obnoxiously huge. Yes. Miga sees it and just looks at it. I imagine that as it, like, well, I mean, maggots do like the weird worm thing, or does it have like legs? No, he's uh... fully maggoty. Oh, bless. Uh, yeah, so it's just like <laughs> scooting. I imagine it makes like a wet sound. Yeah. And Miga sees it and she's just like, oh, and just goes, oh, a moist boy. <laughs> Yes, this is the moist boy. Miga, this is our new, new friend. Oh, so bad. Yes. <laughs> moist boy. Please feed him dead flesh and give him kisses. And 
Pentar goes down in the basement and Moist Boy follows. Every time someone pushes past Mercy to get into the house, she just starts stammering like, I, what, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Still standing there. Gil, for it's days. about this point that you arrive. You've deposited the halfling somewhere. You were supposed to return it to the Mercy Killer prison, but it was getting annoying under your arm, asking you lots of questions about justice that you felt quite uncomfortable with. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Gil probably put him directly outside of the, like, the the gate for it was like, here you go! <laughs> was like, put it in a package chute. <laughs> um, yeah, so you arrive home and Mercy is standing in the doorway. And there's uh, this sort of weird <laughs> noise from the basement. <laughs> oh, he's probably, he's probably used to it by now, just because of the, uh, the... <laughs> noise that it made the entire way home um so he will he will like bodily like lift mercy and move her just a few inches outside of the doorway and walk Gil, past I her i don't know what happened Gil. what <laughs> so much what is... and, and Gil will walk in and he'll see it he's is this a pillow fort <laughs> Lyra will clap her hands and be like, oh, come and sit down. He's like, I'm king of the pillow palace. And he'll like run and like jump and like full body out, like spread eagle, like jump onto the pillow palace. Yes. You're gonna squish Professor Z. Armor so nobody's gonna be happy. Oh dear, I think your internet's gonna Everybody's crazy gonna again. be upset. <laughs> No, you're okay. I think you're back. We were losing you. Better now. No. Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> the okay. Oh dear. Okay. 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 I'm back. Robot. Yay. Oh. Pillows. It's okay. Maybe next time. <laughs> no more pillows. Um, so you're all enjoying the um, pillow fault when there's <laughs> some of you are enjoying the pillow fault <laughs> others are existing in a proximate area to the pillow fault <laughs> uh, when there is a uh, knock at the door and then there's like a dull wet thud uh, that'll sort of wake up mercy from the stupor that she has been in and as everyone is like giggling in the pillow fort I don't know what's going on over there she'll just turn around breathe not having to look at it anymore and open the door um as you sort of just look straight ahead there's nobody there but if you look down there is a person lying on the floor and they are covered in burns and a tattered broken armor and a tattered tabard um do i notice any symbols or anything on the tabard or um it yes matter? by appearing at the tabard it's the one that that uh, vimish wore mm. sir vimish crossard um does this look like him it does oh just Okay, He's... I will look down and I'll kind of nudge him with my hoof. He sort of like twitches a little and then looks up and he's like, Oh, it's one of you. Excellent. Help me. Um, I will cast my mage hand and it will go and like offer him a hand to help stand. Yeah, he sort of like claws his way up using the door frame and the mage hand and then just leans heavily on the door frame itself. Um, everybody, we have company. I call into the pillow fort. Lyra will stick her head up and be like, oh, more people in the pillow fort? Oh, this is so exciting. We can, we can, I'll get the cookies. And then as soon as she like sees like what is on the doorstep, she's like, oh my gosh. And she like drops them and like runs to his aid. Tries to help him up. Yeah, yeah. You can help him sort of stagger inside and plop him in a chair somewhere 
Yeah. He's like, one of his eyes is missing. Um, he's, yeah, his flesh looks quite raw in places. He's got mm. burns on him. Mm. Um, is this the guy whose sister? Yes. Okay. Um, so the Meech Hand will go and grab, like, a little wet towel and start, like, just sponging uh, wounds if they look fresh. Mm -hmm. um, and Mercy will just ask, how's your sister doing? How are you doing? I'm, you, I wish there was a nicer way to say this, but you look awful. He, he sort of said, oh, yes, um, did you get my notes? Uh, we did, just. Oh, I came, I came looking for you. We, we could have done with your help. Uh, there was, there was a battle. And I, I was captured. And, uh, he sort of gestures to part of his face. And there's like a sharp, um, angle on it. Like a square of burning. Or a square of raw flesh. And it looks like, like, a plate has been apply to his skin and peeled off like burnt it it's like they um they tried to uh, try to turn me Ugh. but i managed to escape what happened were there others uh, with me yes others of my order but uh, we found we found their headquarters please go go to torch uh there's a gate there to Gehenna, and then when you go through the headquarters, it's nearby. The Flower Infernal. It's, it's easy to find. They're wearing a trail with their journeys back and forth. Oh, you have to you have to sneak in. They've got guards everywhere, and uh, my brother is imprisoned. And if they if they've done to him what they did to me, and kill him, don't let him suffer. And then destroy the place, please. Burn it to the ground. <laughs> this is this is what we've been waiting for. Um, Gil, Lyra, Pentars. Is there anything that we can do for him to to help with his wounds? He's, he waves a hand and he goes, "No, no, it's. I appreciate the offer, but um, when when they." Well, did those pieces to me? They've just ruined any chance of magical healing. I'm, I'm not gonna last long. Just do, do this. My last request of you. Of course. Mm. Um. We can clean up this pillow fort later, everybody. I know that it is a high priority for everyone, but I think this is a little bit more important. Um, and Mercy's gonna immediately start rushing and collecting things that she feels like. We might need for this journey, including the notebooks that she's been collecting from the other facilities. Make sure they're in her bag. Mm -hmm. Il will grab every oil flask in the place. <laughs> every single one. Pintar's in the basement playing with Moist Boy. <laughs> <laughs> she has no idea this is happening. Leave them. They'll only slow <laughs> us down. <laughs> And also get us, like, really slimy and make us Did feel we like have... we need to take a shower. I know one mm -hmm. of the facilities was related to um, the cult that took care well, took care of Pentar. Mm -hmm. Do we have reason to believe that this is also that group? Or that they're more related to that, um, that other wizard who escaped? Um, you're not sure, and... Um... Unfortunately, um, Vimish has passed out from his wounds. Mm -hmm. okay. But if you look at him, he looks how um, Chastity did when they removed the plating from her. Mm. All right. Then I'm just going to go to the basement door um, and shout down for Pentar uh, that it's, we need some crunch. Pintar emerges from the basement, but in giant centipede form, and curls around Miga this time. So it's a little cumbersome on Miga, because she's this <laughs> small, but she has this giant centipede on her, just like how she sits on Dirge, but she's on Miga. Miga loves it, frankly. She's like, yeah, it's my time. <laughs> I, was I have it now. Everyone gets, everybody gets a turn. <laughs> everybody gets one. 
I feel like as part of our preparations, Mercy's also like grabbing every weapon that we have and equipping it to Miga. So she looks like some sort of badass fantasy version. Oh yeah, because like, she's got the centipede lazy. armor, basically. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> she's already got like a scorpion tail flail and Yeah, I just have too, way crossbow. too much. Crap. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, Miga while while this is happening, like Pentar wraps herself around. Miga's like picking up some of like the garbage on the floor and is like putting it in her bag and she's like she's ready she's got her little crossbow nobody knows where that came from but she had it and she just has it in one hand there's no bolt on it or anything yet uh but yeah she's got the crossbow she's ready she's ready to fight um there's a sort of like rustling in the pillow fault and um then like there's this sort of like domed bulge and like a bit sticking up and then suddenly like a little wing pops out and you hear a voice go Mika to where are you oh um Mika like turns around and is like like sticks her hand out and is like join me we go to battle <laughs> <laughs> a little fork is placed in your hand yes uh... and then and then happened. you hear I can't see. Am I blind? <laughs> oh, no. Miga, like, pulls the, the blanket off and, like, throws it very with a flourish, like, very dramatically. Um, I want to see if, like, in my bag I have, like... Gil holds up a scorecard when she does. <laughs> Amazing. I love it. Um, mm -hmm. Have, like, a... I don't think I do. Let me double check my items. No, I don't. I, for some reason, I thought I had something, but I think that's from Trapped in the Bird Kitchen. Never mind. I thought I had, like, horns or, like, an antler I wanted to put on them, but I don't I don't think that's this game. That's fine. We'll ignore that. Pretend this didn't happen. Too many games. Too many games. Too, Too many like beautiful I, games. Thought I had a primordial pact, but I guess I just didn't. <laughs> no, that's another. That's something else. Oh, I had yes. that wand that had unlimited wish spells in the other game. No. Yeah. <laughs> oh well, that's all right. I have plenty of other garbage. I'll just put some more confetti on top of them. Like, just... nice. I will like sweep that up. <laughs> I'll, I I won't notice. I'll pretend not to notice. It's fine. Um. So, are you um, leaving immediately and heading over to Torch? If we're going to have any chance of finding this guy's brother not altered, I think we have to leave immediately. Okay. Before we before we leave, Lyra's gonna like, as Mercy probably like says this to the group, like I'm gonna help um the uh, um his like the guy who's like with all the burns and stuff. I'm gonna help him and try to make him as comfortable as possible because he's probably not gonna last, and we'll probably have a dead person in our house by the time we get back, but I want to make him, like, at least as comfortable as possible before they, um, expire. I so, mean, like, sorry. I'll, like... Oh, won't be but... the first dead person in the house. Mm. Entire, like, unwild shapes real quick to yell back, just put him in the basement! And then, like, <laughs> back. Oh, no. Oh, no. Lyra's just like, um... Uh, and she doesn't really know how to respond because she knows what goes on down there. She's like, the basement can find him. <laughs> and like, and the like, voice boy sorry. just like slorches out and he's oh, like, yeah. a, 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 uh, so what's the word? Suspicious, like, humanoid shape in the middle of him. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> fair, fair. The basement will find him. <laughs> Eventually. <Wow. laughs> So she'll just like take a pillow from the pillow fort and like you know rest it behind his head or like lay him down or like whatever is comfiest for him for his last few hours or minutes or whatever he has left before we leave. Okay. Um. To the portal. To the portal. I was just seeing if I could find something about torch, but I can't. In that book. Okay. So yeah, you make your way to the um gate town of Torch and there's a weird um, atmosphere in the town and um, as you sort of like 
um, arrive, you, um, a, a group of uh, badly wounded um, caravan folk. So they've sort of like had a supply caravan and um, they've been clearly been attacked and they sort of like struggle their way in limping in with their carts and things and if you sort of like hang around you hear that they've been um, attacked by metal men and mechanical creatures um, but there's also talk that the um, march came through here a couple of days ago and the atmosphere is or they seem to feel that um, some modrons have gone rogue and are attacking them but the people seem quite terrified but to get to Gehenna um, the usual gate is high in the air between the spires of the town Um, can I walk towards uh, the people who are injured in the caravan? Uh, yeah, sure. What exactly do I see? Are they like really, really messed up? Are they, does this look like this just happened? Uh, you're not sure how long ago it happened. They can say it was um, a couple of days ago and they've sort of limped their way into Torch. They were journeying between the gate towns. Uh, with some supplies um, they are um, quite wounded um, some of them are sort of like got slashes on them and they say that uh, several people had died as well tell me about these metal men who attacked are they modrons like this and I'll kind of gesture towards S34N um, or did they look more like odd hybrid creatures um, I'm not sure what you mean by hybrid creatures, uh, and the, uh, it's this old woman, and she sort of goes up and, like, squats down and peers at S34M with her one good eye, and pokes him a bit with, like, a finger. Miga slaps it away, like, <laughs> <laughs> She sort of spits in your direction, Mia, and then she says, oh, "Whoa, well, um, I mean, it didn't look exactly like this ball, but they were missing parts and had parts on them." And she points at the folk. Not parts like that, but they were had bits attached to them. Mechanical bits, or yes, bits of flesh. Mechanical. Definitely. That's unusual for... I'll, I'll turn back to the group. For Modrons to be attacking. That's strange. Um, can we check your wounded? Mm, if you want. I don't know how much help you'll be. Rude. Mika just hisses and like... Goes to the back of the group and just like... Pintar hisses from on top of her head and yes. certainly for I'd like to believe that S34N also makes like a like a really bizarre, like whirring noise. <laughs> he's like hearing you hiss and like, he's like oh. like this? It's like um like when a computer overheats. Yeah. It's just like that whirring noise. That really loud fan noise. Yes. <laughs> Um, checking the wounded, does it look like there's anyone who there's not really any hope for? How badly are they hurt? Well, these people have all managed to make their way to the town, so they've sort of patched themselves up, bandaged themselves and things. Um, but they will tell you that um, a couple people got killed, but also um, one or two got kidnapped. Kidnapped? Um, by these rogue modrons? Yes. Do you know, have any information on where they might have headed? I'm I'm just wondering if perhaps wherever they are is somewhere we need to be. Um, they are not sure what direction. They can only 
they they think that So yeah, the their their colleagues were just sort of like dragged off, and they don't know where because they were too far out from Torch to. They said they were dragged sort of towards Torch, but they weren't sure. Um. They couldn't follow any tracks or anything. They had to stop and patch themselves up before moving on. So they lost the trail because it was too long. Fair. Um. Okay. I don't know. I'll just turn to the group. I don't know if there's anything we can do to to help them. They've lost some people. I think do you... We're looking for some people as well. If you give us descriptions of your companions, maybe if we find them, we can help them uh, and bring bring them back to your group. Mm. And they are grateful for that. They said something else that they have heard. Um... The um, gentleman you were just talking to but steps forward again. He's like, um, I mean, maybe the Modrons went crazy when they went through the marsh. I mean, he points up at the spires and he goes, normally they would go through the gates up there. There's a gate up there. But for some reason we heard that... Um, they walked into the blood marsh and then vanished. Maybe there is a hidden gate. But that drives people insane. Interesting. Um, thank you for this information. Um, and I'll turn to the group and uh, share this information. I don't know if maybe we want to investigate this new direction the Modrons are going, or try to figure out why they're going in that direction. But we're looking for this facility, the headquarters. That's our top priority. Vera kind of feels bad, because, like, she is just, like, there's so many people, like, in that caravan that she wants to help, but she knows she can't help all of them, so she's kind of, like, looking at them with, like, a passive, like, kind of, like, you know, kind of walking around with a bag of holding, just trying to do what she can, bandage with wise and just kind of everything as you kind of talk and stuff and um can Mika try and steal from the lady because she's <laughs> bad at her yeah well, how rude I hate her steal all her shit <laughs> <laughs> Are you, I don't want to steal from her now or she's mean go for it do your do a sleight of hand check to see if she okay. notices you let me see a sleight of hand to the right Okay, so I'm proficient in that. A, let's see. Okay. Hold on, I'm gay and I can't do math. Hold on, 14 plus 9. Oh yeah, 23. Yeah. No problem. Uh, roll twice on your table. You can grab two things off her. Okay, uh, just two d20s then? Uh, two d100s. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay. Right, first one is uh two or yeah first one is two and then second one is 75. okay so for some reason in her bag she's got um a shoe with no sole on it well it's one of a My pair hell. and it's clear that maybe it's been damaged and she wants to get it repaired and so you pull that out and you find that it's actually stuffed with seaweed that's still damp. Yes. Okay, so I got... Um, oops. So I got a... Please scroll. Okay. Alright, so I got the uh, shoe with no sole filled with uh, wet seaweed. Okay, and uh, the other thing? That's both of them. Okay, so the the wet seaweed was the second one. Yeah. Hell yeah! I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna put it That's in my bag. That's the most meager treasure ever. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna put it in my bag, um, so she doesn't see that I have it. But when we walk away, that seaweed's going in the hair. Like that's that's gonna add to all of this. Awesome. What's skill up to? Um, Gil is very, like, 
one track mind like they came here to burn down something and Gil would like to do that as quickly as possible so he's actually he's pacing very agitatedly um waiting for the party to be ready to to go and handle this thing it's like i was promised arson justice <laughs> justice <laughs> He's very like he's very one track mind right now. If I could like get somebody in the community to like Photoshop Gil on that like that car salesman meme, so like Gil is the car salesman. And he's like slaps like a gas can. You can fit so much justice in this bad boy. <laughs> that would be so perfect. I'm gonna that. do it later. I'm just gonna do it later myself. Thank I you. just want it. That's what I need. Thank you. So. There are two possible gates. Where would you like to go? I'm super curious about this madness, blood, whatever gate. But that's Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> Mercy. How's she feeling about a marsh made of blood? She's not super duper, but she does find it curious that this is happening in the same place like, Modrons are going rogue in the same place where these headquarters are. Um, so I do feel like she'd want to investigate that. I don't know how anyone else feels. Kentar, Mika, Kentar wants, wants marsh blood. Yeah, Mika wants to go to the crazy place. Like, for sure. Ira is wants to find that tower. I think she just is so, like, worried that more harm is gonna happen to these innocent people that she's just like i think marsh blood sounds pretty cool sounds like a really good band name and then she kind of <laughs> she's like i think there's a bard that needs that band name somewhere out there uh, but she'll be like i don't know i mean what's more important in the grand scheme of things i, I really don't want people to get harmed like those other towers that we've seen yeah, she's on the fence. She 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 would prefer the tower, but if oh, that's if, true. If the tower any... is where this facility is, then I guess mm -hmm. I would. Yeah, the paladins it. are in agreement. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We're boring. I will... yeah. <laughs> Super I want to go to the facility. Then we can go up to the marsh, the marsh, the blood marsh on the way back, because okay. we kind of have to hide from a burning facility. That's true. Also, I feel like this is like an instance where you're going to the store and you see something like you're with your mom and you're like, oh, I want that. And she's like, we'll get it on the way out. And it never happens. <laughs> Don't get the ice cream sandwich because you forgot. I, it's more like an instance where Gil only has like four spell slots left. Okay, that's fair. That's, yeah. <laughs> oh, three spell slots left. Yeah. We'll, we'll go on like, you know, a None of them for family sure. outing to the blood marshes. <laughs> We have food at home. <laughs> um, <clears throat> actually, can I, can I get a perception check from everyone? Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. So bad, I got a 15. Nice. I got a 14. Mm -hmm. 15. 22. Oof. Mika sees everything. Mika will remember <laughs> this. Mika's like, anytime anyone mentions that marsh, her ears are like pricking up, and she's like, blood, blood marsh, blood marsh, and like, because <laughs> Pentar's excited about it too. But Mercy, you're sort of like listening to all the people chattering around town as well, and you do overhear some people talking about the um, marsh. Um, they think. That that's potentially a gate to Gehenna as well. Okay, so either way, it would take us yes. to yeah. the headquarters. Then I say let's kill two birds with one stone and go to the Blood Marsh. Because our goal is to get to Gehenna yeah. to get to the facility. Because and we can also check out the Modrons too. And they were saying that word. when the march came through town, everyone was expecting them all to just fly up and um, 
go through the gate by the spires. But what happened was the march went under the town to the marsh and then vanished. Walked into the marsh and vanished. Okay, let's check that out then. So burn it all to the ground. <laughs> yeah. Delicious. So you had the marsh is actually um under the town. Weird. Yeah, it's kind of gross. And there's you can see loads and loads of um Mojon footprints through the marsh you can see where they've clearly walked through but every so often um there's a sort of like pool of blood and so the trail disappears and you have to pick it up again and to follow it you're gonna have to wade through this disgusting marsh yay pantar's all for it mercy has regrets <laughs> I'm to the tower then, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> flashbacks to last time. It's too late, Hansa. <laughs> <laughs> and then we is wait the, for um, we wait yeah. for ten minutes. <laughs> is the um, like the marsh? Is the water deep, or is it like like ankle? It's just like kind of standing water, where it's standing just water, ankle, squelchy, gross. Yeah, Mika's gonna just right through it. I mean, I'll wait for the chubby llama to get here, but also, like, I am eh. Yeah. Pentar's <laughs> loving, loving it. Loving every minute. She, she crawled down off of Miga and, like, rolled around in it like she did in the last place. Like, no. like a dog. <laughs> right like, hey. So we think the gate is, like, in the water? It's or somewhere, blood? yeah, it's somewhere in this marsh. Mm. So I just found a picture of Torch, so I can describe Torch Ooh, to you a bit better. Yeah, cool. So it's like these three big spires rising up with bridges between them, and round the base of these big jagged spires with all the buildings on them is like this gross marsh of blood. Okay. Is it like legit blood, or does it just look like blood? You're not sure. It's it's grim. It smells bad. It looks bad. It's everything Mercy hates. It reminds me of taste it. Oh god! I was just gonna say it's like that coffin that they opened up. It's like you know, have you guys? Did you hear that story? That giant coffin that they opened up in Egypt. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It's coffee. Let me drink the sarcophagus water. Me get it's no. Pharaoh Punch. It's just the whole swamp of Pharaoh Punch. Yes. Mm -hmm. Let me have it. Let me have that. Egyptian drank. Let me have uh, it's proof. Even you know, even in ancient times, we had some kind of perp drink. He, he has purple drink back then. For the drink. culture, let me drink it. <laughs> uh, so anyway, Mercy gets on the back of Panzo again, <laughs> sitting butt to butt, <laughs> back to back with Gil. Um, awesome. and, like, keeping her, her heels up so that she doesn't, and her tail so she doesn't get gross, gross gunk on herself. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Gil still puts his cloak over. <laughs> <laughs> so he doesn't have to sit on it. <laughs> He'll tell her he's keeping her safe from the marsh flies, but... Oh, okay. <laughs> Somebody like, roll me... A... in her face. <laughs> Can someone roll me a d6? I don't mind who does it, I just need one. Oh, no. Four. four it sounds like. Okay, so you are wandering around for four hours following this trail. Um, oh. Can I get a couple of constitution saves for Panza and for anyone else who is wandering around in this stank water? I'm sure. If your llama disappears, Skill. <laughs> I I got a dirty twenty. Cool. I got a nat twenty. Cool. Oh. Me yeah. is untouchable. High like, <laughs> except for the cheese, like a. Apparently, I didn't handle the cheese, but um, <laughs> with the constitution modifier, it would be 23, but I did get a nat 20. Awesome. Nice. Is Lyra on her mount, or...? 
No, she would feel too bad to make Tally walk through this, so she's <laughs> on foot, and she told I rolled a four. Oh, oh no! Um, you I start. Made a bad point. <laughs> Lyra starts coughing and shaking and uh, feeling sick. Guys, I feel sick. <laughs> I don't feel so good. <laughs> it's like you've been poisoned. Um. Oh. Well, Pintar's, like, rolling in the muck and having a good old time, and it's apparently, like, strengthening her because she got a dirty 20. (laughs) Um, But she goes over and she, like, spits some centipede spit on Lyra and casts protection from poison on her. Yeah, that clears it. And Lyra, you feel much better. And then she hisses and runs back to Niga. Lyra tries to give... Lyra tries to give Pentapete a hug, but she just skitters away too fast. Yeah, she's too wily. <laughs> she'll she'll get like there. Being left hanging for a high five, you're like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yep. Gil, how did Panza do? Panza got a nine. Uh, it starts sort of doing llama spits everywhere and coughing. Oh no. Oh. And his little legs are buckling more than <laughs> usual. He's just like shaky leg. Mercy's feet almost touched the marsh. Ah, Panza! As Gil's, I think he's sick. Oh. Well. Gil, <laughs> 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 oh, no! <laughs> Never had pets as a kid. <laughs> so, eventually you find um, this portal and manage to get through it. And you come out on the other side to this, um... What you see the other side is, um, these double volcanoes, so they're like stuck base to base, so one is up the right way and one is down the wrong, pointing downwards, and there's just sulfurous clouds everywhere, there's, so like these volcanoes are like floating in a void, and there's just the smell of sulfur, the light f- is from the lava flow spewing out of all these volcanoes. The uh, where you're standing is like this greasy black slope. Um, it's it's like this fire and brimstone version of hell. Um, and as you sort of look around, you can see clearly see the path where the Modrons have come through the portal. So you see all their little Modron footprints. Um, can you roll survival to see if you see any other parts? Fifteen. Mm-hmm. Is anyone else looking? I got a seventeen. Cool. Nah, I got an eight, so I'm too busy rolling around. <laughs> <laughs> too busy enjo- enjoying the scenery. That's, Am I you, rolling again? You... Is it perception? I... Survival. Survival, okay. <laughs> TK, are you, are you muted? Cause I, didn't... I am muted, I'm oh. sorry. I'm, I was just saying that I'm never letting Lisa send me dice again. <laughs> Lisa <laughs> failed me for the last time. I got a four. <laughs> so, um, Mercy, you're looking around and you see there's like all the Modron footprints are nice and neat and ordered and in lines. And then you see this track that just cuts right across it, a swathe right across it, and leads off to the side. And there's like other Modron footprints, but there's also like um, cart tracks and human footprints as well. Uh, was that cart tracks? Was yes. It? Yeah, carts. Okay. That's odd. Um, I will point at them. I wonder if someone took away some of the Modrons. If their headquarters are here, they'd certainly be capturing them as they walk through. Hmm. That would be the most effective way of getting what you're, you know, looking for, as awful as that is. Should we follow it? Mm-hmm. Now we'll kind of pat Panza's. Panza's bum bum. tired. <laughs> are we are we still in marshy water? Or are we on? Oh no no, you're on a, a sort of like a slope. Okay, uh, Gil will like allow his uh, 
hooves to touch the ground, and then he'll and snap away Panza back into his ring. I fall on my butt. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gil! Warning Come along, mate with Gates. Come along. Mercy. Now, now Mercy is Yates Prime. <laughs> no! <laughs> it's Does Gil have a tail? Yeah, he has a little bitty, like, short, stubby tail. So it's probably oh, only about, okay. like... Never mind. Uh, yeah, it's probably only about, like, uh, nine inches long. Like, yeah, I was gonna pull on your tail to get up, but I won't. Oh. Because I can't. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> it's too statuesque. <laughs> little goat tail too goes like me so you um follow the um trail mercy can i get a history check from you good okay 16 perfect so you come over this um edge of this slope and in front of you is um a sort of canyon of lava and there is like a little island like um, butt sticking out and it's got this weird big thing that looks like a budding flower on top but you recognize it it was painted on the wall in Valran's hideout where the wizard was with all the sensory stones uh, there was the big painting on the wall that kept shifting and changing and this was one of the pictures odd this is from uh, when we found the wizard in his Mojron facility did you say this was painted on the rock or there was like a no statue? this is the actual place in front of you now oh okay you recognize right. the place from the painting oh all right I got it sorry I was confused it's the place and I just stir towards it Maybe it's like an entrance? So as you sort of stand there and you're looking at this place, it's revolving. So it's like this um, budded flower, like a rosebud or something spiky. The petals are all up and it's slowly rotating. And then one of the petals starts to unfurl and drop down and it lands on the, la the uh, bank on the other side of this natural moat. Uh, that it's in the middle of and then a patrol of guards comes out and then the petal closes back up again and it starts turning oh hmm. Mercy immediately kind of ducks down to make sure none of those folks see us or me at least <laughs> Lyra will follow suit she'll just be like nope don't want to get I'll seen I'll do the, the same I'll, I'll hide and Tar's already like in the muck because she is a centipede and disgusting. So. <laughs> I'd like to think that like her little antennae are like out yeah. of the muck. <laughs> they look like little reeds. I'm gonna tug on Gil's pant leg. Or yeah, I'm gonna tug on your pant leg. Okay. Yeah, Gil will get. He'll he'll get a clue. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, the How patrol was we... um kind of quite far away, so. They haven't seen you. They carry on. They walk, you know, on a route that's away from where you are. How do we get into that flower? I would like to try and sneak to the flower. I, my stealth is lit, and I want to use it. <laughs> you can sneak up to the edge of the moat. It's like completely surrounded by this moat of lava. But you can okay. sneak up to take a closer look if you wish. I will sneak uh, stealth, right? Stealth check? Yeah. Okay. My stealth is plus nine, and I'm an expert, so that would be a plus three as well, right? Uh, that's that should be else. included in your... If you're on DMD Beyond, everything should be included. Yeah. What is your <laughs> dex modifier? My dex modifier is plus six. Oh, yeah, I see. I see the now. Six. Uh, so if you're an expert, then it's plus three, plus so you should be plus 12 if you're an expert in it. Dang! Okay. Let's hope I roll high. Uh, 16 plus 12. Oh, 28. 
crazy. Um, yeah, you just sort of like Mega just sort of like slinks up. She's so covered in mud and stuff that she blends into the scenery. And yeah, you get to sort of a rock near the edge, and it's this. There's just this moat of lava, and then this um, island that comes up out of it in the middle with this big bud flower thing on it that's rotating. It looks like Arnold Schwarzenegger and Predator. <laughs> I was gonna be so like. Hmm. Let Goodness me gracious. take this out so I can show you the picture of what it looks like. It's like only the whites of her eyes are visible. It's just... Oh, that's creepy. Ah, it sort of looks I like our it. friend. Our friendo back home. So yeah, the petal comes down and the um, patrols go across it. Okay. Very beautiful. <laughs> oh, it stinks though. It's... Mm. Never mind. Yeah. So exactly <laughs> like our friend. Yeah, yeah, so it smells, to me it smells beautiful because apparently like I can never fail a constitution yeah. saving throw. <sighs> And like it's sort of like glowing slightly red as it catches the light from the volcanoes around it and the lava. Okay, so as Mika is up ahead getting a closer look, and we're kind of getting we're like on a like we're looking down at it. Mm -hmm. Okay, does it look like that petal? lowers down just to like let folks in but if there was a way for us to get like climb the pedals and get on the top could we like drop in um, or is that hard to tell from here that's quite hard to tell from where you are can i tell that is that something i could see like as you're sort of down closer and you're watching you're noticing it's not always the same petal that comes down and it sort of like stops rotating again and a different petal comes down and a patrol of guards goes in and then it closes up again. Hmm. Can I try and I wanna like when one of the pedals goes down, can I try and like sneak up the pedal or is that something that's doable? You could try. Um but you've only seen the pedal go up or down when there are guards coming in or going out. Okay. Um can I take a look around and see if there's like another patrol fairly close? Uh yes, yeah, sure. Um roll perception for me. Okay. <laughs> it's a six. I did roll a one though. Um, a oh, one. six. Okay. Um, yeah. you sort of have a quick look around, but you can't see any patrols okay. near you. I feel like we have a couple options. Either we somehow infiltrate a patrol, so we go in when they go in, or we wait until there are no patrols and we somehow try to, like, climb inside. But I don't know how the thing knows when patrols are getting there. Exactly how they know to open it up and when to close it, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, could we get closer? Um, me, yeah, or... do we want to try and sneak up where Mika is? Do we see any, like, scrying or anything? Windows? Uh, there are, um, no, yeah, you can't see any windows on the, on the thing. Do the patrol people look like, um, are they all wearing, like, uniforms yes, and stuff? Yes, they are all definitely wearing uniforms. So, I, will, I do have the ability to look like other people um so i could go in with a patrol and then maybe see if there's a way to lower a pedal from the inside although i do not relish the idea of being separated from the group can you make other people look like other people or just you i can disguise myself only i could perhaps take pentar in with me if she hides on my person yeah i i think that would be the best like, she can cranium rat form, because that's a plan that has been used in the past. It's a good plan. Yeah. Gil doesn't like this. Gil hates this. She she turns into a cranium rat and crawls up inside your clothes and licks your armpit. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Her feet squirm, um, and uh, she will shift to look like, um, I wonder if there's, like, someone that we've met before uh, that I could look like. Um, 
she shifts to look like someone who looks vaguely familiar, vaguely like one of Pentar's zombies um, back home, um, but alive, uh, but in the uniform that the patrol is in. And then I'd like to try and like sneak down to get into the next patrol group. Okay. Um, as you sort of head down towards, um, are you like actively stealthily walking or? Um, probably because I don't want them to notice that I'm like running into the group. Oh, okay. Just kind Can of like I've suddenly shown up. Do some stealth for behind. me then. Okay. As you will. Yeah, just real, just like slip in there. Ah, uh, 18 plus 2, 20. Oh, nice. Don't mind me, guys. It's just evil Steve returning from lunch. <laughs> <laughs> returning from evil McDonald's. Yeah, evil <laughs> McDonald's. Oh, man, I wish I had McDonald's. I got some evil nuggets. <laughs> evil chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets could never be evil. Watch your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> they are if they're from evil McDonald's. They're not really made from chicken at evil McDonald's. Um, yeah, you make it down there and sort of like, as you sort of like look around from where you are, you realise that you've narrowly avoided alerting a guard quite close to you. Oof. That's good. And um, yeah, as you look, you realise there are quite a lot of guards stationed around the place. Oh, next time we should be more observant. I'll just like casually march with everybody. Okay, um, so yeah, a patrol sort of like comes heading in and the flower stops. Um, before you even get that, it stops, it lets a group out and then turns and then stops and lets you in. And like one of the guards next to you just sort of like does a double take and is like, Where did you come from? Were you at the back a minute ago? Um, yes. Oh, right, there's just so many new recruits, I can't keep track of them all. Me neither. So oh. many. Oh. <laughs> So, you ready for the big operation tonight? Um, no, I'm uh, I'm excited. I've got that new recruit energy. Oh, Definitely a new recruit. He sort of leans in a bit conspiratorially to you. He's like, uh, do, you reckon, "Do you reckon we'll get enough of them boxes to finish finish the, the plan?" I sure hope so. What do you think? Oh, I can't wait. That great Takarim army. We'll raise it. Yes. So excellent. Very excited for this. Get those prisoners uh, converted, eh? Um, Mercy kind of like forces a smile on her face, but her eyes are just kind of like looking everywhere like, is there someone who's like hitting a lever to lower these pedals? <laughs> or she's trying to be really observant and she's a little annoyed like this guy's distracting her. Um, once you get inside, um you um can't see any method immediately around you as to how they are um, lowering or raising the petal. Um, the rest of the guards sort of head off and they're like, your friend's like, oh, I'm just going to go for a shower. I'll catch you later, right? Get ready for the raid. Woohoo! And I do finger guns at him. <laughs> <laughs> and while you're standing there, somebody uh, comes up with like... Um, They've got like produced flame in their hands, and then they hold it up to um, the side of the flower thing, mm -hmm. and um, it starts to spin again. Oh, interesting. Um, does it look like I can kind of linger here, or did everyone else march down a hallway? Um, do you want to do? Or is there anywhere where I can kind of like duck into a little alcove or something? Because that seems like that was controlling the flower, so maybe mm. I want to stay and observe. <laughs> or I could follow the guards and like leave Pentar, because Cranium Rat, much easier to hide. Um, it's your choice. There seems to be lots of people milling about. There's quite a lot of activity, a lot of people here. There's a lot going on at the moment. Um, everyone seems to be getting ready, gearing up for something. Um, if you want, you can maybe do me a charisma check to see how inconspicuous you can look. I got a 17. My Very charisma is real good. So, 21. Yeah, you're, you're super look like you're meant to be. You're like a person with a clipboard. 
Okay, you yeah. Look I just like you're meant I to be a stack of clipboards, and I kind of <laughs> just take one. Um, I'll make sure that Pentark is either like able to poke her head out or something, so she can see what's going on. And mm -hmm. basically, I just want to stay and observe until the next petal gets lowered. So okay. Um, well, you um, after a few minutes, you hear a sort of yell, um, and they say, um, "Lower two o'clock." And then the person you're next to holds their flame even closer to the wall, and you can hear something over on the other side moving, mm -hmm. and the thing stops spinning. All right, so I'll kind of lean down and kind of say into my collar where Pentar is hiding. Um, they're using flame to control the flower, but there are a lot of people here. I don't know how we're going to sneak our group past all of them. Mm. <clears throat> squeak, 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 squeak. Yeah, squeak. basically. <laughs> Pintar, uh, base emotion that she sends to you is, I don't know, like, bravery like distraction i don't know how to like convey uh -huh. you know ah, like we should do something crazy um what does this room look like are there stairs where we can kind of get to another area and cause some commotion okay so you are on um what appears to be um an upper level uh, there are stairs sort of going down to the level below and it's like a, um, a ring around the inside uh, and the middle is like open and there's a building right in the middle upper level building Wait. in the middle okay I can't like communicate with you so I don't know how to do this but I like have you went to a place where people can't see me if I poke out like Um, you know what I mean? Like where we can maybe communicate a little bit, like yeah. I uh, well, yeah. Mercy's trying to figure out how to communicate with Pentar, and she's like mm. stuffed into my coat right now. Mm -hmm. So I am going to try to wander somewhere where there aren't as many people. Maybe an alcove or something I can step behind. Okay. Chat. So there are um some portcullises. Uh, every there are nine um big petals sort of bulging out mm -hmm. and uh, sort of every couple are um, like a portcullis with an exit and you sort of go between them there are doorways and it's like they've sort of made some petals into rooms and the one that um, the first one you go past you can hear like snorting and hooves And if you peer uh, into so like the door, stable. yeah, it is, it's actually a stable. Okay, so I'll peek into the door and see if there's any humanoids there. There are um, a couple of stable boys, but they're busy trying to calm a horse down in one of the stalls. Alright, then I'll slip into a corner there and, mm -hmm. like, take Pentar out of my coat. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, just gonna try to, to pantomime to you. This is so cute. That Mercy's enamored. She's just like... <laughs> when you oh you're so cute you're so cute <laughs> and, uh, I don't know she's trying to pantomime to you that she has the spell hallucinatory terrain and if that's useful at all <laughs> okay um I think that that could certainly cause some sort of distraction especially if we put it in the middle of the area maybe people will run down um so I do think that would be useful. I have some distractions, but I think that one sounds like a really good one. Um, so if you could like, so Pintar like scrambles down and goes into one of the stalls that the stable boy's not into and turns back into herself. Mm -hmm. um, and she's like, what? The, the best thing that she could think of is, it, I think it has to be like a natural terrain. Which I would think a wildfire is natural terrain, but I don't know. Um, but she wants to kind of make it look like the flowers, like in some sort of precarious position, to where they're they all kind of are like ah, and and get distracted and go to it. 
Um, um, you could probably do like magma because it's on a lava lake. Yeah. Like the magma's risen up. That's a good good idea. So I will do that, but I guess I have to go back in there. So um, I don't know if I have to sneak as Pentar back in there to cast that. Uh, yeah, I want a sneak because you're not wearing a uniform like. Um, yeah. And what can I do to help? Nope, don't have. No, oh, no. Nope. Uh, Mercy is just gonna try to like cover Pentar. <laughs> this is your side. <laughs> I got eighteen. Okay, no, that's good. That's really good. Um, you know, you notice that the uniforms everyone is wearing—they're not all like exactly the same, but they all had that same tabard, and it's the same as the uh, plant that you first encountered. So okay. it's the uh, one with the logo on that looks like the cult symbol. She doesn't like it, but she she did figure out that that wasn't the same thing yes. when we were at the. Yeah. So she's just like, Bleh. she doesn't like it, but she at least is like sound of mind about it. And you realize and... that the symbol is actually the flower that you're in. Oh. Oh. Well, she she quickly kind of gets to a, a a good spot and then casts hallucinatory terrain to make it look like lava is coming in to get to the flower, and Mercy's she's gonna. Just goes, Oh, are you going to yell? Like, yeah, like ah! he was going to go a, uh, a little aside so that people aren't drawn towards looking in Pentar's direction. But I'll just say, oh my god, the lava is rising. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> how long have you been waiting to do that? Um, how would I like to do that? No, how long have you been waiting to say that? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the lava. Um, what are the rest of you doing while they're inside? So like, you saw um, Mercy join this patrol, and the patrol will go in, and then it's just been quiet since for about half an hour. I'm Man. still hidden, just in case. Mm -hmm. I haven't heard any alarms go off, so they don't seem dead. Lyra will be like, I don't... Was there a queue? Did they say there was a queue? I'm, I'm like, trying to, like, listen and see, like... You know, I guess we just wait for something to catch on fire. <laughs> um, Good indication. <laughs> the flower stops spinning, and a petal lowers, uh, and uh, several guards suddenly pour out, and they look like on alert, and they look panicked. Um, I would like and to run to the doorway. Are there a lot of people still in the room, or did basically everyone pile out? I was describing for what outside, see. So I'll come back to inside in a moment. Oh, okay. Um, do they look panicked by something inside or outside, can we tell? Uh, you can insight. I would love to. I would love to ruin this. <laughs> um, let me... Can I roll an insight as well? Yeah, sure. Please. Somebody, yeah, don't don't leave it in my hands because I will undoubtedly destroy this. Thirteen. Twenty-two for me. Oh, wow. Uh, I'm doing a new thing for bad insight checks. So for TK, I'm going to roll my magic eight ball. Oh, no. And uh, okay. it cool. says, what does it say? Uh, answer unclear. Ask later. Oh, cool. <laughs> uh, but Lyra, uh, they are looking nervously behind them as they run out. Ugh. Um, I'll relay that kind of back to Niga and Gil and be like, they look anxious about something. I think, I think something's going on in there. We let's ready ourselves just in case something happens. And I'll kind of like ready. Like, pulls out like, the emergency wand just in case. Want to get it ready? <laughs> Want to get it ready? Yep. Uh, inside, um, there is a lot of noise and panic. And, um. You hear someone going, No, don't let it kill the experiments! Don't let it kill the prisoners! Get so them out! Like chaos inside, right? Yeah, absolute chaos. Mercy is going to try to get herself near where that lowered pedal is, and she's going to press to digitate little firework sparks that look exactly like Niga's emergency wand to try as like a little signal that folks should run in now. Oh, okay. Uh, does, I mean, I'm assuming that I can see them, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, um, yeah. I'm flipping the lid, and I'm definitely gonna be like, EMERGENCY! <laughs> I will do, uh, let me check to see how many charges I have left. Um, 
Uh oh. Oh, it will have. Um, you had uh, uh, one day's rest, so it would have reset one day. Okay, so um, I you say I use it three times, so it's three out of seven. Nice. Which is how many? Huh? How? <laughs> this is a trick question. <laughs> I'm really confused. What's going on? Yes, I have expended almost half of its charges. <laughs> oh, but how many emergencies did you have in the house as well? Oh, um, I think I said two, right? Although, no, you would have, you would have, re it would have recharged slightly. So yeah. don't worry about that. I'm not going to count it really, like obsessively. No, it's fine. So yeah, you've got four charges left, we'll say. Fantastic. Just saying that's like, it's 42.857% if anybody's <laughs> counting at home. How much that I've used? Same numbers. I think that you used a calculator for that. I think I just have a beautiful <laughs> mind, TK, okay? Thanks, DD Beyond. <laughs> DD Beyond does not have the functionality to do percents of things. That's fine. Someday. Maybe. <laughs> Help. Um, there's a lot of panic. Um, can I get a perception from the two of you that are inside as well? Thirteen. Mm -hmm. Are you caught me off guard? I put my spell book down. I don't have a table. Twenty-one. Oh wow. Uh, what Pentar sees is um. You remember the Decaton Modron that you um, rescued uh, from Bedlam? Yes. And you liked Bedlam. It was a crazy place. Mm-hmm. And um, you see a Decaton Modron wandering around down there. But it's not captured. It's not tied up. It's moving kind of oddly for a Modron. Um, I convey this to Mercy because Pintar has no like sort of feelings towards Modron. She's just like, whatever. I don't know. What are we doing? We're stopping these things from doing what now? So she just is like, Mercy, it's one of those things down there. Um, odd. Uh, so in the chaos, I've set the signal. So I'm expecting our friends to run in. Um, so Mercy is just going to kind of run down. He was on the lower level, you said? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna run down there to try to get a closer look. Okay. Um, See, this is our our starfish Modron. So Mega has set off her wand. What are Gil and Lyra up to? As you see the sparks from the door and the sparks from Mega's wand. I feel like Lyra's gonna like turn to Gil and be like, "I think that's the cue." <laughs> Phil's gonna go suboptimal, and he's gonna like immediately stand up and start marching towards the door. He's like, "I'm ready. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's burn this place to the ground. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's catch it on fire. I'm ready. Okay. No, sne no sneaking <laughs> at all. No sneak. It wouldn't matter. He's wearing chainmail. He's gonna have disadvantage. So you know, I'm gonna if I'm gonna roll a two for my sneaky then I might as well make it on purpose <laughs> I just imagine Lyra like just being like really off like off taken off guard by like how like you just kind of stood up and started walking so she's yeah. gonna be like oh oh Hugh yes don't be suspicious oh my god don't be suspicious and she's gonna like trot behind but like keep on looking around to, like, make sure <laughs> it's, probably like, for the parks, best it's like Parks and Rec Mona Lisa and don't Jean Ralphio don't <laughs> Don't <laughs> yeah. Is that when they were faking their funeral? Yes. Like yes. 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 Uh, Gil, um, five crossbow bolts whiz past your head. Oh my gosh. But one buries into you for five piercing damage. Is it in my head? Uh, it's in your shoulder. Okay, not the face. That's no. all I ask. No. But like, yeah, five of them miss you and completely whiz past. Like one sort of like tinks off your armor. Nice. But one buries itself into your shoulder. It finds the gap between oh, Lord. your plates. Instant regret, but that's okay. 
and the patrol on the bridge are sort of like um, they've moved off and are spreading out and looking around and you realise that a few of them have spotted you marching down okay that's fine okay <laughs> that's a uh, bad decisions time <laughs> <laughs> oh no here we go <laughs> oh yeah I only have three spell slots well, here we go. <laughs> he's just gonna keep, he's gonna break that arrow off and just toss it on the ground and keep going. Um, Amiga, Lyra? Um, I'm like really worried for Gil right now, and I'm also worried about Miga because I don't want Miga to get hit by. Don't worry, Miga's. Are you following break. Gil down or are you letting him just do his thing? When... It's, yeah, you might as well let him draw fire. Oh. Yeah, I'm I'm already oh. down there, so I'm gonna try and I guess get into the big big old flower big old boy. Big old flower. Okay. <laughs> I'm just getting do, that big old boy. <laughs> do another stealth check for me. Stealth check. Okay. Ba -ba -ba. Okay, seventeen plus twelve. Oh, nice. So yeah, so 29? you can take advantage of this confusion and manage to sneak your way in. I would like everybody to think of this. Like, I feel like one, I'm covered in muck, and for whatever reason, that reminds me of like Stitch from Lulu and Stitch. Um, but like the Mission Impossible theme song is like playing, is like me is like da da da, like <laughs> just trying to get in there, <laughs> like Kronk. Yeah, just making, yeah. Up. <laughs> making up their own theme song. <laughs> yeah, it's like I'm just I'm just getting all in there, just getting all in there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so Lyra, you're just sort of like left as Gil starts marching down. Yeah, you know, at this point in the game, I know that I can't get between Gil and his love of fire. I, I know that <laughs> when Justice. he has something like on his mind, there's no way getting him past that. So I'm just gonna like be watching. Mm -hmm. Like I'll follow behind him, but I'm gonna keep my eyes open for any other attacks or any people that are maybe gonna flank us or something. Mm -hmm. Um, in the best way, like, just, like, make sure to, that everyone around us that is outside of the flower is safe, basically. A mom arming, but from a distance. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. an another barrage of arrows flies towards Gil, and another one hits. Okay. Um, in that case, like, whatever, uh, for how much damage? Real quick. Um, uh, four or five. Okay. Yeah. In that case, um, he'll... Uh, he won't acknowledge Lyra because he's doing something very specific right now but he will bang his scimitar on his shield and yell like he'll yell as loud as he can he'll go come on and uh, do a champion challenge so if any of them are within 30 feet they need I need them to make a wisdom saving throw Okay, I think they're probably... Guys on the ground or guys on top. You're probably just, like, walking down to them now, so... Yeah, yeah. Um, what's your DC? Uh, 14. They all fail. Okay, well, um, after that, he's gonna start to... He's gonna start to back up because they can't move more than 30 feet away from him. And he's, he's gonna, gonna play this... Everything. Yeah, he's gonna play this game... Okay. When he does, he's gonna pass Lyra and just kind of like <laughs> to her, like and uh, like... and keep going. No, he's like towards the flower. Okay. So and then he'll he'll keep he'll yeah come on, <laughs> start like leading him away from the door. Um. Okay. Um. Mercy, as you get down to get a closer look. Um, it looks just like the um, Decaton that you rescued, but it's screeching in a more human voice, and you recognise the voice. Um, it sounds a lot like um, the wizard that escaped. Oh, he is a wizard. Himself. He is. It appears to be in the body of a Decaton. Um, I'm Ooh. going to run up to him 
and I'm going to say we must save the experiments. People are attacking our headquarters. Where can I lead them out? He's like, ah, oh, yes, very good, very clever, yes. Um, and he points you to um, the rooms around the edges, and he's like, those are all the cells. That's where the prisoners are, and. Those one upstairs, upstairs. You need to go upstairs and get the um, the barracks. Um, all right. So he said there's prisoners around here. So the down here might be like the not converted people. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And then upstairs is where the converted people are. Yes. Or yeah. Okay. Yes. So I'm just gonna like shout up to nobody to save everyone in the barracks. And then I'm gonna. I'll be on. I'll tell him. I'm. I'll help uh, get our lead our prisoners out. Uh, so we still have our materials, sir. Oh yeah, it's good. And don't let the Modrons die either, because then then the convert converts the Modronoids will fail. Oh no! Yeah, definitely won't do that. That would be awful. Um, and I'll run up to the first cell door that I see. Mhm. Mm um, what's Pentar doing? Is are you still in rat form, or oh no, you were back in? Yeah, I had to go back to Tiefling form to cast that spell, but I feel like she has turned into. Um. No, she would have stayed herself because that way she has her spells. Mm -hmm. She's just trying to stay hidden and waiting for Mercy's signal to do whatever. She knows. Mercy's the kind of the brains in this situation. Oh, <laughs> uh, we're doomed. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> uh, so you're still upstairs, right? Yeah, I didn't leave where I had went to to cast hallucinatory terrain. Okay. Um, there's I'm... a lot of noise and bustle upstairs as well. Um, uh, some guards come and start going into one of the rooms and bringing out um, like uh, two of them are carrying out this big vat with sludgy goo, and you can see just the little flesh bits of a modronoid hanging out of it and then some two come out with like bars between their shoulders and th there are chains hanging down and that's got a modronoid hang uh, sorry a modron the flesh parts of a modron hanging on it and like these modrons are screaming because they're being kept alive you oh, know what who did pentar we lose won. we lost tk oh i know what pentar wants to do but i don't know if it's a good idea but she she wants to tip that vat over Roll bad. <laughs> um, she doesn't have mage hand or anything. She probably hurt herself. No, she wouldn't. She's a tiefling, so she can touch hot things. So it's fine. Um, yeah, she'll stay hidden. She'll stay hidden. This ran through her mind. She's like, I can't touch it. <laughs> oh wait, I'm a tiefling. It's fine. Oh, I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna stay hidden. Is she MC Hammer moment or not? Yeah. <laughs> she she was like, all right, gonna gonna stay. Okay. So she's she's just kind of hiding and waiting for Mercy's signal. Um, she can polymorph if we need it. She can confuse maybe the entire party. You never know. Okay. So, um, Lyra, um, Gil runs back. Oh, actually, no. Let's go to Mega. You've just sneaked in, and there's just all this chaos going on. Um, you can hear um, this Modron yelling, but you don't recognize the voice because I don't think you met the wizard. So I didn't. Mm -mm, I was outside. Um, okay, so we're inside this big old boy flower, and there's chaos inside. Um, do I hear, like, mercy at all? Do I hear uh, anybody You know? see uh, Professor Z in a knight uniform, um, trying, like, talking to this big modron, and then walking off to the cells. Okay, um... Do I see Pentar anywhere? You do not see Pentar anywhere. Pentar okay. is hidden. Mm. Um, you see, you hear Professor Z talking like really loudly to the Modron um, and calling. Do we? Did we get his name? I forgot. Uh, the wizard is Valran. Yeah, and then we've probably been like mulling over his notebook and stuff and everything at the house, so Miga might recognize the name. But I'm saying his name really loudly whenever I talk to him, hoping to maybe attract someone's attention. To this okay. situation. Yeah, um, I, back. Uh, I will. Uh, oh, now all the um, things are in the wrong order. 
Oh no. That's, <laughs> that's okay. It's like commercial break. <laughs> I'll switch um, everyone around. It's cool. Um, TK, sorry, you're muted. muted. Yeah, my router just died. We're gonna have to buy a new router. Ouch. <laughs> Sucks. Ah, excited. Okay, well, I will I will go towards the uh, loudness, as is my way. Okay, so uh, Professor Z yelling? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, Mercy, you go to open a cell. Um, the first cell is some battered-looking uh, people. Um, they look like they might be from the caravan. Okay. Do I recognize anyone from the descriptions they gave me? Uh, yes, yes. You recognize some of them for sure. Okay. I will open the door and kind of go in and kind of like almost totally close the door, but I have my foot there to make sure the door doesn't totally close, but I just kind of want to be a little bit hidden from uh, the wizard. They sort of cower from you as you sort of come in, and they're like, oh no, don't take us, don't take us! Um... I'm not who I look like I am. There is a lot of chaos outside right now. It is dangerous, but that is, is your best time to escape. Um, and I kind of make eye contact with them to see if they're, that's getting through. Oh, okay. I'm going to have them insight check you to see if they believe you. Uh, yeah, they are really hesitant and looking at you nervously and sort of backing into the corner. Um, I'm going to leave and just leave this door unlocked. Let's see. And I'm what does the magic eight ball say to them? Don't bet on it. <laughs> so, <Hello>. yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, and as you head for the next cell, um, Mega comes running up to you. Uh, look down at Mika. Is what is the wizard doing right now? Is he? He's just yelling at people, telling them okay, to so rescue he's things, and yeah, he's. God, uh, do this, do this. Mika, where is Lyra and Gil? Um, Mika will like point behind her and go like, "They're coming, they're coming, but they're shooting," and there's an arrow, and it's bad. Um. Mercy will uh, just point at the big starfish Modron um, and just say, this is the wizard from before. This is a bad, bad man. Um, we need to burn this place down and we need to destroy him, but we have to free everybody first. Okay. Um, can I start, like, so they're in cells, right? Mm -hmm. Ooh, maybe... They would believe a, a small, lovely child over someone who looks like a guard. Okay. Is there any, is there, like, so a cell door has been opened. Yes. Um, can I, like, fling it open and be like, we gotta go, we're gonna die. <laughs> oh, no! Do you want to make a performance check? Does he have to you Yes, I do. And can I also um, assist her performance check by, do I see Miga come in? Yeah, from where you are, like... you can see down onto everything. I would like to wild shape into my giant vulture form, which is huge and covered in fungus and ridiculous, and f like swoop down to Miga and help her with her performance check by being like, ah, <laughs> like <laughs> dramatic bird. Yeah, so I've dramatic got bird. Uh, Eighteen, sixteen plus two. Uh, roll again, because that will give you advantage to help. Oh, advantage. Okay. I'll take the sixteen plus two. <laughs> um. Yeah, you are super dramatic, and Pentas behind you, like. Ah! And also, I pick you up, and now you can ride me. Yes. It's like never-ending story. Like, yeah! Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, the people the people from the caravan just, like, look up, and there's just fear on their faces, and they bolt out of the door. Bless. Are there any more, um, like, any other people in the area that I must do a save? Um, yeah, I think if Miga goes into that cell and convinces them to leave, and there's and it looks like the wizard is preoccupied, screaming at people, Mercy's just going to start going to every cell door yeah. and just opening it and poking her head in and saying, get out of here. 
Yeah. Mika will just like do like the, the God, I gotta die and like every once in a while she'll like <laughs> fire off a charge from her wand. Mm -hmm. Um Yeah, so all of the prisoners um start escaping and running out and the wizard is screaming to get the patrols back in and the guards start running back in to try and curtail these prisoners escaping but then they're also trying to get them out at the same time and it's just a whole mess of confusion and the wizard's just screaming conflicting orders and he's like get them out stop them from running but get them out and yeah nobody sort of really knows what's going on there's a lot of people just running back and forth um and penta up by you uh, they've taken out all the modron parts and um another door opens and the um hybrids start coming out and they start sort of tramping down the skit stairs and the wizard's screaming get them out they're most important not you you useless bucks really I yeah, I'm wherever Miga is because she's. I have lifted her onto my giant vulture. Oh yes, yeah, sorry. Yes, you went down. I forgot. Do it. Do I see the the uh, wizard Modron man? Uh, yeah, he's just like uh, running around the inside, trying to like avoid this lava that's starting to rise up. Okay, I'm gonna like. I assume that I'm like. For some reason, I feel like Pentar has like me by the back of. I don't know my child clothing oh, yeah, i'm like hanging she... in the air yeah she just um, yeah that's how she did it. just like with her beak like... like yeah i just want to be like you're gonna die and like wave my like wand around and i fire the final charge Ooh. okay um gil um you're sort of leading these three on the rest of the guards all sort of like start heading back in and there's a lot you can hear a lot of sort of chaos coming from inside but the three that you have challenged are still following you. Ah, uh, jeez. Oh, um, how many are heading back in? What number? Um, the patrol that came out, all of them are going back in. There's about uh, nine of them. Ooh. Ooh, boy. Is this gonna be a bad idea? Yes. it i want like okay so look i'm not full of great ideas today um this is going to be very painful and not great um you can't really attack or anything right now but can gill Turn around Ooh, one with his second. I've done something weird to zoom. Oh. There we go. Oh, it's okay. All right. It. Can can Gil turn around with his shield and just like get behind it and barrel straight through these dudes following him, straight through those nine that just try that are starting to filter back in, and like try and strength bully his way in front of everybody. Just yeah, do a strength. Um... Do, do you have proficiency in intimidation? I do. Do a strength check and add your intimidation proficiency as you bully everyone. Yes. And hopefully those three will also follow him, just like run into those other guys too, mm -hmm. which would be awesome. Uh, come here, skills. It's, I've never used D&D &D Beyond on my phone before, and so I'm like trying to push all the buttons in the right order. Oh my gosh, my intimidation is plus six. Um, so you've got plus three, and what's your strength? Okay, so I rolled a 17, my strength is plus three, and then my intimidation is plus six. Yeah, just your proficiency, not your full intimidation score, because that's based on charisma. Oh, my bad. Just but the... it's the same, because your strength is plus three, it's going to be the same anyway. Yeah, 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 my, my strength is plus three, yeah. So, was that 23? Was it 17, you said? Yeah, 17 plus 9. No, 6. Oh, plus 6. Yeah. I'm sorry. So not the... Okay, so not the... Okay, yeah, yeah, I got you. I yeah, instead you of using now. charisma for intimidation, you're using strength because using you're strength barging through everybody. Yes, yes. It's, okay. it's an so, alternate yeah. rule set. 
no, you're totally fine. I just wasn't looking at yeah, the right thing. Yeah, it fault. can be really confusing when I do that. Yeah. But I, yeah, I really like own. it because, you know, you're intimidating people by using your brute force. Yeah, yeah, that's that's um, cool. I like that. Yeah, so... Um, so, plus three, plus three. Okay, yeah. so 23. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, you just charge through them and you're just charging into the um, flower, Infernal. Yes hopefully trailing three yes. of them behind <laughs> they are trying to follow it's you it's so dumb <laughs> um, and yeah Lyra and Gil just suddenly charges off and uh, all these guards have started following him Just he just makes a hole <laughs> oh my gosh oh that's awesome Lyra just is like paladin pals <laughs> paladin <laughs> yep paladin yeah. get out <laughs> So, the police. Yeah, what does um, Lyra do? So Lyra's um, pretty much like she knows that Gil's taking care of himself after, you know, he's kind of charged. So she's going to go to the door um, in the easiest way possible. I guess that's just to like, is there are there guards like? They the are or... either trying to chase Gil or get back inside now. Okay, well, I'm just going to go directly to the door because I'm worried about Miga and like where everybody else is. So... I'm gonna go like directly in at this point, yeah. not really caring. Just like glaive ready, mm-hmm. let's do this. Like I want my friends safe. So yeah, the sight that greets your eyes is just absolute chaos. Um, you're on a balcony um, above a central area. Down, mm-hmm. down below, you can see an eagle flapping around with Mega in its beak. Uh, no, sorry, okay. was it a vulture? Oh, was it a vulture? Sorry, yeah, this fungus covered yeah, vulture. Yeah, giant vulture. vulture. That's think, it. Think, okay. you know, trash animals. Yeah, okay. uh, flapping around with Mega hanging from its beak. And then there's another guard that's running around with, like, prisoners that looks like Professor Z. And um, Gil's just marching in. And the very bottom, that so, like, there's a level you're on, then there's, like, another level below you, and then there's stairs down to a central area where there's a mm. building, and that looks like it's filling with lava. Oh god. And there is absolute chaos. Uh are there um any of the prisoners running out past me to try to get to safety? Uh do I know them? None of the even... prisoners have got up yet. No, they haven't gone out yet. They're, oh no. Yeah, they're worries. down on the bottom floor and there's a few yeah. fights going on between guards and prisoners that okay. are trying to escape. Okay. And I'm assuming like this vulture that I see, do I recognize that it's Pentar just based on the fungus? And the levels like... of fungus would indicate it's Pentar. Okay. Cool, cool. I'm just gonna be like, oh, oh, that's really cool. Okay, and then she's gonna like trot like down the stairs and try to get towards them and, mm. and ask what the heck's going on, kind of thing. And and just pound through whoever is in her way. She's just gonna like, any guards that try to confront her, she is ready for them. Mm-hmm. Uh, and Gil, you recognise? Um, did you go inside and hear the? Wi- you were talking to the wizard, weren't you, at his base, when you were with Levity and? Yeah, Gil. Oh, was there. yeah, yeah. Gil was. Well, because Dirge, he was, he was present. Dirge was there. I know Dirge was there. Was Gil there? Yeah, Gil was. Gil was hanging out, being mad. Yeah, yeah. Um, so um, you recognise the voice as being the wizard voice. But they are all wearing the uniforms from that first base. So it looks like they've joined forces and are working together now. And um, some They die of, together. <laughs> some of the uh, Mojanoids are starting to head out of one of the other petals. They've sort of now decided, they've now dropped all of the petals that can be used as exits. And the guards are going out of one of them with the um, modron, the flesh parts of the modrons in their buckets and on the chains. There's um, modronoids marching out of another one. And there's like evacuation going on. Hmm. What can I burn? No, that's when... a terrible idea. When Mercy sees Gil barrel through all of the guards, um, she'll drop her disguise and also shout at Gil, prisoners out first. <laughs> Justin! <laughs> Man, I'm 
hoping there's like a weaselly guard like out of one of them that he could just like throw directly into the lava <laughs> when the time oh was. absolutely oh man yes <laughs> i'm ready ready in fact okay. a weaselly guard comes up to you and goes hey who are you what's going on here what are you doing i would yeah, I would love for Gil to just, like, grab him, like, by the shirt and just fling him. Um, can I have a strength check? Yes, you can. <laughs> Roll a two, so whatever you do is Oh my be god, great. yes! Because <laughs> I rolled an 18, yes. so that's gonna be 21. And he's just like, Wah! And you can hear him, like, will hell scream into the lava. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and, he just um, does look some cartwheels. <laughs> Sploosh. It's hallucinatory, but for them, it, they believe it actually is lava, don't they? They believe that uh, lava exists, Kayla. It's, it, it doesn't like it doesn't feel hot. So if they were to examine it, I think they would figure it out. But if they're just looking and they're like, I can't touch it because it's lava, and they're running away, then they they won't. Oh, know. but uh, Gil definitely sees that it's lava, right? Because he wasn't. He has no idea that it's not Yeah, you wouldn't, you wouldn't yeah. have any idea unless you went and examined it. Mm, I'm just well, hopefully the guy's neck at least breaks. Yeah. Um... It's not the first time I've ever said that on camera. <laughs> I'm just quickly I'm trying sorry. to find it. What level spell? Oh, there it is. Found it. Uh, hallucinatory terrain. Oh, a creature's entering are likely to see through. Uh, an intelligence check. Right, so he falls in and he believes at first it's lava and starts thrashing around. Um, actually, let's see if he... Um, oh no, he failed his deck save, so he's going to be quite hurt. He's more twitching than thrashing. Excellent. Never mind, he doesn't alert them. I mean, he's not... I love it caught fire but he's probably like below the level of where the lava is so he just sort of like yeah. is underneath so they can't tell. He just moans on the ground. Yeah. His broken sternum. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah so what's everyone doing now? Are there still guards on the upper level who are firing crossbow bolts at people? Uh, that was the patrol that was with Gil so they're now chasing him. Oh okay. And they sort of like, most of them are sort of like step back a tiny bit when they see Gil throw the guy off the balcony. Mm -hmm. uh, but the three that are pursuing him are still coming after him. I'm going to do some more. Uh, oh. Did... oh. Uh, so another five bolts come for you, but one actually crits, the rest will miss. And um, that's going to be um, ten piercing damage. As those three are still trying to fight you, Gil. Okay, for Gil. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Oh no, D and D Beyond, don't error out. No, or error out and give me a hundred hit points. That'd be great. <laughs> um, while I was going to all of the cell doors and opening them for people, did I see that guy's brother? Um, not as far as you're aware. Okay. Um, but who is on the upper level still? Lyra, can I have a perception check from you? Yeah, for sure. Oh, that was going to be a 19. It's a 3, though. Oh. <laughs> so what is it for set? 4. 4 total. Yeah, and Gil, you're, upst you're still upstairs, aren't you? Can I have one from you? Yes, I would love to fail this. <laughs> and I certainly did! <laughs> so you get, uh, I get an 8. Oh, okay. <laughs> No. Um, yeah. Um, so, yeah, the Modronoids are still um, starting to head out of that barrack room, and the yeah the flesh, the Modron flesh on the chains and in the pots is being taken out, and chaos is ruling downstairs. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, how quickly can Lyra get down to like the main? the main floor. I guess where, where like, Mercy... Well, I, I don't know. Does she know that Mercy is helping out? Pro no, she wouldn't know, probably, that Mercy's helping out prisoners, unless she can see it from the top. Uh, she did yell up at Gil prisoners yeah. first. Oh, okay. So then I'm going to run down to Mercy to try to help. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
um, many of the prisoners that have been released are sort of being caught by guards, are in fights with guards. Can I take on some of the guards that are trying to, like, get in the way of these prisoners? Sure. Cool. All right, I'm going to, uh, whichever guard I see first that's trying to reprimand one of these prisoners in a very ill-mannered way, I'm going to take a swipe at with my, uh, glaive. Actually, no, I'm going to do the moon sword because it looks cool. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm gonna do the moon touch sword for the long okay. sword, and that is a man. Yeah, that's only a uh, eleven. Um, yeah, these guards are wearing armor underneath their tabards. <sighs> well, I have an extra attack. I could use that, I guess. I'll I'll do that. I'll use my extra attack thing that I have, unless mm -hmm. I can only use that in in um, initiative. But I'll I'll do the extra attack if I can. Yeah, you can try to. Okay. I'll try it again. Oh, that's better. That's a dirty 20. Okay, roll some damage. Awesome. Alright, so that's with the moon touch sword. That is... Where's my d8? There we go. Only four. Um, oh, you do quite badly hurt this guy, though. He's just a regular oh. guard. And he sort of, like, clutches his gashed arm, and he's like, Oh, bloody hell, Cutter! What you done? What you doing what? in here? I'm just gonna yell, Fuck like, it. by the god's order, let these people go! And I'm just gonna, like, try to make sure, like, that all of these people kind of leave. Um, what are uh, Mega and Voltar doing? <laughs> Voltar? Um, I'm just leading wherever Mega points her little sword. I'm just, yeah. like, <laughs> sla flapping around. Um, and there are, like, guards and whatnot, like, milling about, right? Yeah, it's just absolute chaos. In All right, it's trying to pull out that crossbow. Uh, yippee ki yay, Cutter. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay, um, I'll take something close to me. Actually, can I, like, can I, uh, are there any, like, sconces on the wall with, like, torches in them? Uh, yeah, why not? I want to light an arrow on fire. Yes. Um, so I, I now have this flaming arrow. I put it in my crossbow. Is the wizard Modron man, is he anywhere? He is still uh, screaming and yelling, yes. Cool, I want to shoot him. Shoot, shoot. Okay. All right, not bad, 15. Uh, that sort of tinks off of his Modron body. Okay. And I want to, like fling Miga onto my back and then swoop down and try to claw at the Modron with my vulture claws. Okay. Um, so that's a 15? Um, no. 15 will not hit him. Never mind. I fly <laughs> back up. <laughs> uh, he starts screaming, Intruders! Intruders! They're attacking me! Does Lyra recognize the wizard at all? I don't think you went inside either, did you? But uh, from the notes and things, if the name is yelled. Yeah. I don't know, because I, like, I remember, like, Gil setting the place on fire. I know I was, like, in the doorway for that part. Yeah, that was once That's he'd vanished. Thing. Yeah, but I don't think I'd know. No, I don't That's think you heard his thing. voice. Okay. Carry on, then. Um, uh, okay, um, the wizard's sort of like shrieking in his uh, decatum body and then suddenly, um, loads of tentacles just launch up out of the ground. Yes. And Did he cast a spell? Yeah. Can I counterspell it? You can. Okay. Uh, but I, I need you to roll because it's a fourth level spell. Oh, okay. I was about to say what level, but, uh, that's okay. I'll roll. Uh, it's a charisma thing. Oh, sorry. Were you gonna uh, counter spell higher? Yeah, that's okay. No, um, that's okay. Then you counter spell higher. You told me, higher. so I don't wanna. I don't wanna cheat because now I know what the level is. Uh, but I got a fifteen on the die. Oh yeah, yeah. Charisma, so. Yeah, uh, he sort of like mutters something and he's waving his little decaton arms around, and then he goes, "They stopped my spells. They're too powerful." Yeah. Evacuate. Yeah, we are. We're the best. Get wrecked. 
<laughs> yeah. He's just like, if like some demented Dalek. He goes, evacuate, evacuate. <laughs> <laughs> Mercy is trying to make as many avenues of exit for the prisoners as possible, so she's like launching fire bolts at all of the doors, mm -hmm. thinking that fire will control them. Um, because I don't have produce flame. Uh, if you hit uh a door with a fire bolt, it starts to close up, but then you feel something on the other side start to drop. Oh, okay. So only one at a time. Uh, it's opposite walls. Oh. Okay, cool. So I just try to hit all the walls to try mm -hmm. to get stuff to open. Yeah, I mean the doors are open anyway because um they're up the doors are on the upper level and they're taking things out and evacuating okay. already. Okay, then I don't do that because they're already open. Um I didn't see the guy's brother in the prisoners. Can I run back upstairs? to see if I recognize any of the experiments that are being let out? Um, yeah. Um, roll... Roll me some insight. 18. Uh, you spot a guy that looks suspiciously like Vimish already converted. Alright. Um, we promised that guy. Um... So Mercy is going to take her dagger out, dimension door over to that guy, and just cut his neck. Oh, wow. Just like... Yeah. Coupe de grass. Yeah. Yeah, yeah sure. She <laughs> 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 I just wasn't expecting that. I just wasn't expecting <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah, you can do that, no problem. Like, no, nobody has time to even re react, because you just dimension door over and do it. Yeah. And it's just like, um, some of the Modronoids around just sort of like, look around and they're like, in shock that you've done this. I, uh, I smile. <laughs> and, um... Then they sort of turn to you and go to turn on you. Um, I don't know if there's really anything I can do. I, uh, I guess if we didn't get our spell slots back from the last session, because we kind of went straight here, then I will... Irene, like, do I need to worry about action economy? Because we're kind of sort of in initiative, but not really. You tell me. Um, no, what do you do next? Tell me what you do next. Okay. What I would do next would be to levitate above them. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So now Mercy is just kind of like hanging in the air above these angry Modronoids. Mm-hmm. Alright, that's what I'm doing. Okay. Um... What's Gil doing since he's thrown the um, guy over the edge? Okay. Um, so you said Gil is on the top floor, and yeah. my internet cut out before I could really get a good idea of the layout. What floor is the wizard deck draw? The wizard's on the lower floor. So the top floor is like a balcony that's a ring around the edge of the inside, and it looks down onto this second floor. And there's another ring around the edge on the inside, which is a slightly higher level, and it steps down into this central circle. In the middle of the central circle, there's a small building. Perfect. Uh, and, and I can see And it him? looks like, yeah, and it looks like there's lava in this lower area. Everyone's How... on the outside of that edge of the lower floor. How far away? How, like, how far under me is he? How far do you want him to be? He's sort of, like, flailing around and yelling at people and... Okay, 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 okay. Hear me out. I would like for Gil to grab the bottom hem of his cloak of billowing, use his mind to, like, make it billow out as far as it'll go, leap off of the balcony as, like, sort of a makeshift bedsheet parachute, and land on this guy. Yeah! yeah. yeah. What? <laughs> I love. <laughs> yes. 
Is there anything else I could do? What else would you like to do? I would like to, um... So a Decatron, I'm sorry, I, it's been a long time since I've looked at a picture of one. Are there any, like, are there any nooks or crannies inside of one? Like, with its armor and everything, or is it pretty shut tight? Um, I'm just having a quick look for the picture of the Decaton to help. They look kind of like, they're the ones that look like starfish. No, no, Still. no, they're the ones that look like wormy things. Oh, never mind. Uh, uh, I don't even know what that is. Uh, that one there. I would like to... It's like, totally you know that, um... Now. You know that old picture where it's like all the little monodrones and then there's like this wormy modron next to it? Yeah. That is a decaton. Yeah, I'm into it. I would like to... Instead of using his scimitar to stab it, I would like him to use all of his strength to take his immu immovable rod and stab it like straight down into it oh wow yeah mm. um i will have a strength check for that please oh my god i would love to <laughs> i rolled an 18 so let me just look at what my strength bonus is <laughs> it's a plus three so yeah, you jab that rod right into two gaps on this Modron. Boop! <laughs> and it just starts screaming. And the guards, there's a hint, there's like this note of terror in the screen. And it just like really unsettles the guards, like their leader is um, dying sort of noise. And... Um, they start fearing for their own lives and panicking and stop fighting prisoners and everyone just starts running for exits. Living or dying, he's not going anywhere. Ooh. Also, this is Aww. kind of gross. <laughs> <laughs> is is Gil ready to enact justice? I'm so ready. <laughs> but, but Mercy said to wait. So oh, Gil's yeah. doing the next best thing. Prisoners are now getting out and escaping. Guards aren't trying to hold them back anymore. Oh, that's fantastic. If Gil if Gil has still has any any actions after this, he's gonna stay on the back of this wizard and just throw oil flasks. Yeah. Just willy nilly. Yeah. Um uh, Pentar, uh Miga. Party favors. You're you're flying around. Voltar. Uh, a gill is on the back of this decaton, throwing oil around. Um, it's now every man for himself on the side of the guards. They're all um, screeching and fleeing. The prisoners are escaping. Mercy's floating above some modronoids. Lyra's just watching all this from the doorway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to like usher out like prisoners yeah, to make yeah. sure everybody gets out safely. And mm -hmm. then, yeah. Just basically trying to make sure everybody is safe who needs to be safe anyways um what do you two do as gil's throwing all the oil around um miga is on my back now so i just make vulture noises at her and look at her like miga's like firing like like just waving the crossbow she's like yeah <laughs> and it's just like okay and just keeps flying around like the perimeter like, because she could swoop out, I guess, whenever she wanted to. So she's just like, I guess Mia just still wants to be crazy. So that's fine. <laughs> I do. I do. Um, if you fly past, like, Lyra, like, you can see on her face that she's very proud. <laughs> so proud of her team. Go on. Oh, I've muted myself again, sorry. Uh, in, and Lyra's just ushering prisoners out. Mercy, what are you doing levitating? You see uh, Gil as... Mercy will levitate as high as she can uh, to keep herself safe and then just firebolt down into the the Modronoids uh, to try to put them out of their misery. And she's just saying things like, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. And the firebolts are probably making her tumble in the air. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so, Gil, how is justice enacted here? 
Tell me more about these firebolts. As they spark oh, next yeah. to all these broken yeah. oil blasts. Yeah. <laughs> Probably the edge of the flower catches fire from a stray, like a firebolt that I miss. Oh, I'm absolutely. Spiraling in the air. Team Just effort. Fire all around Gil. <laughs> is, is Mika still shooting flaming arrows? Yes! Oh my gosh. And it's just like, it's like a rock concert. <laughs> Where it's just like... <gasps> yes. <laughs> you could just see his, his body silhouetted in the flames as he's just like throwing out these flasks that he had. And then like he just, like every once in a while, he just like jerks the head and like forces this wizard to watch his life's work burn to the ground. <laughs> it's a good night. That's it's a good really night for Jess. He's having a good time. <laughs> You're right. The, part of that wasn't Gil. Part of that was TK. He's just like. <laughs> um. Okay. Um. And so Mega's firing flaming arrows around, and yes. fire bolts are going everywhere. And yeah, the place just catches all the oil starts to catch and the place starts to burn and it burns hot um there are sort of obviously chemicals in some of the side rooms where they're doing experiments and uh, one of mercy's firebolt goes into one of them and the room just suddenly explodes out cool. um and then you realize that there are like vats of boiling oil round near all the doorways and uh, suddenly they catch and start like lighting up the top of the um, flower and the place is starting to burn quite hot Vera I think starts to yell everybody out now like yeah Tintor pieces pieces out with Miga just like swoops out really fast <laughs> yeah Again, I'm never ending story of this. I'm like, yeah. 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 <laughs> Can you, as a vulture, because Mika's on your back, grab my tail and drag me away from these Modronoids trying to Well, I would grab your shoulders, but if you want me to grab your tail, I can. I'm just used to people grabbing my tail no. when I levitate. <laughs> I can do the cool, like, shoulder grab. Okay, grab. cool. Awesome. Pull you out. Yeah, I mean, you're levitating, so it's no and weight, is it? Yeah, and you have to be like, yeah! <laughs> cool, yeah! <laughs> Mercy's just getting dragged backwards as Pentar goes. Um, Gil, you're left in this building that's starting to burn, well, this flower that's starting to burn down around you. Like my entire life, thanks. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, no. Uh, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, and he's just like, he's just like sitting on this smoke down and he's like, just like cackling maniacally and as the, the like roof is starting to cave in, he's kind of like, Oh, I should. I should go. This is the problem. <laughs> um, unfortunately, he's gonna have to leave the immovable rod, and he does right in that Modron, and that's fine. He feels <laughs> great. He takes one last longing look, like as he's like running out, and he like looks back, and he's like, "I hope that I watch him burn. Like I hope I can see him in those last moments." Yeah, the wizard is um, screaming, uh, apart from the pain of the rod, and apart from watching um, everything burnt down around him. And um, sort of like, uh, everyone's sort of like spilling out in all directions from the petals of this flower that are folded down. And you all sort of like run out and get away from it, and it's just glowing with its own red light amongst the red light of this um, plane. And the top sort of starts to burn down and the petals all burn down. Bits of the balcony start falling in. And there's just like, um, you know, like the skeleton of a building, like when a roof burns. It's like, that's what's left and it's still burning. And you can still hear the screaming of the wizard up until sort of like the last minute when the skeleton of the building all collapses down and then it just goes quiet. Yes. And that's probably a good place to stop because we are a little over time again as well whoops yes <laughs> I want that rod back no. <laughs> I'll leave it uh, give me my rod <laughs> thank you for playing guys once again Gil's harem saved by his rod that's fine <laughs>
No, 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 no. Okay, no. Oh, We're oh, no I, longer I, friends. Yeah, you know, friendship that's ended. Bad. That's bad. I thought, oh, okay. Friendship that's, ended with TK. That's bad. Oh. <laughs> that's awful. Um, uh, yeah, let's, um, let's go around everyone, see what you're up to for the week, um, etc. Um, just to remind everyone, this is pre recorded, so we have to think about the future. <laughs> What future. we're doing in the future. Future. Um, uh, Hadil, hello. Hi, it's me, Hadil. Um, she, her. You can find me on uh, social media as Twitty Such, T W I T T Y S U C H. I'm most active on um, Instagram and Twitter. Um, I play on Trapped in the Birdcage on Thursdays. Um, and since we are in the future, I was also on an episode of Dice Camera Action. Um, the VOD for that should be available at this time, and you should go and watch it. I'm sure it is a treat. It hasn't happened yet, but I know some shit's going to go down. I know some shit's going to go down. And then um, I also do uh, Bramblefoot Adventures with Kayla, which is all ages content uh, at 5e rules. And I think that's everything. The end for me. Thank you. TK. It's me! It's TK! I write spooky stories on the internet. If you like spooky stories and you don't feel like paying for them right now at this time, you can read them at tkjwrites.com or you can go on my Twitter, TK Joins the Fray. Um, on Tuesdays, I hang out in Demon Plague on Don't Split the Podcast Network. On Wednesdays and Thursdays, I'm on WebDM on Wednesdays with Invisible Sun, on Thursdays with Land Between Two Rivers, on Sundays I'm here! On Fridays I publish an article on Tabletop Test, and this upcoming, uh, let's see if this is in the future, then I've already started writing about how to keep the pacing in horror-themed campaigns. It's fun. Just in time for Halloween. There are probably other things, but I can't remember them, so they might as well not exist. I hope you have a delightful day. Thank you. Um, Kayla, hi. Hello, I'm Kayla. You can find me on the internet at K-A-Y-N-C-L-I. And uh, at this point in time, I'm going to be revealing some cool stuff soon with TK. And I think Lisa, I don't know, the spooky time of year is a good time for us. We like to make spooky things. Hadil and I do Bramblefoot, and it's really good. And we're always releasing fun stuff there. And Holly and I make clothing on Trash Witch Coven on Etsy. And I DM a Star Trek game with Hadil, Lisa, and our friend Blue Jay, and it's real good and it's scary, and we have a good romantic scary time, and yeah, so just keep an eye on my Twitter because all that other stuff I'll talk about on there very soon. Thank you, Lisa. Hey, I am Lisa Chen. You can find me on the internet at in Merciful DM on Twitter and on Instagram. Uh, I play in Kayla's Star Trek game. Super excited for that Wednesday nights. Um, I'm also the community manager for the Adventurers League and the Dungeon Masters Guild. So check out all of that stuff. I think that's it. Just follow me. Find out stuff I do. <laughs> Lots of stuff. Um, Chloe, hey. Hey, um, I'm Chloe. Um, you can find me on Twitter uh, at hey it's Chloe C L O E, um, and then you can also find me on Instagram at hey it's Chloe Christine. Um, I draw and do design things, and I'm floating in between Instagram and Twitter right now, but I'm there, so come on in, drop in, say hi, and, you know, talk about fun, cool art things and design things and awesome D&D &D things, and yeah. Hey! Um, I'm Maz, right there, at Mesmatez, still doing my usual... I'll probably be on to some new project by the time we air this. I don't know what I'm doing at the moment. I've got a list as long as my arm of things I need to be doing. Um, Extra Life is coming up soon. I know Lisa has been raising lots of money. Um, I don't know if by now I will have announced. It's so confusing being in the future. Will I have done it? Will I not? I do not know yet. We will find out. Um, also, uh, our friends Rivals... Uh, episode what would we have been up to three would have dropped today check that out uh girls guts glory are back next week 
Uh, tomorrow we've got High Rollers with their uh, link game with Idol Champions. I know you guys love playing Idol Champions. I like playing it. Uh, you can earn dice by doing missions um, in Idol Champions, and the players get to use those before the game. Uh, also, uh, Dragon Talk and Dark and Dicey tomorrow complete the lineup. Um, thank you everyone for playing. Thank you everyone for watching. And we will get together to record a couple, the last two episodes soon. Uh, the series is almost finished. Ah. Um, but that's it for today. Sorry we ran so late. Um, we were getting excited. Uh, doling out justice. Hooray for justice. Justice. Yay. Um, justice. So, <laughs> bye for now. Bye. bye.